And we are world leading at science and engineering and, and just what the government call knowledge intensive services and industry. I mean, that's the basis of our economy and it will be in the future. So just in a practical sense, it is vital that we have that flow of talented scientists and engineers coming through into the economy. But there's also, I think, a wider issue here, which is that science and engineering have given us modern civilization. And it sounds you know, you, it sounds almost like you're overstating it, but it's true. We would be living in trees, we'd have massively high child mortality, we'd all live till we were 25 if it wasn't for science. So, so in that sense as well, obviously, it's vital that we continue to produce scientists and engineers. The, these events are vitally important for, for many reasons. I mean, one is, I think, to show the, the diversity of careers that you can have in science and engineering. You, know, you can wander around and you can see you know, from, from uh, film special effects companies to the Formula One teams, you see companies like Rolls-Royce and British Aerospace, you know, the, the, the medical research companies, you've got everything here. So I think it just um, reinforces in children's minds that, that doing a science degree, it gives you access to all this and you can pick and choose. So I think that's vital. I also think what you see is that stereotype of scientists and engineers as old men is demolished because you go around all the stands and you find out that they're, they're young people in those companies, they're men and they're women as well. And it, we know that one of the main barriers to, to kids going into science and engineering is the perception that it's a, a game for old men. And it's not true. And you coming here just demolishes that. I think it's important for parents to um, understand what a career in science and engineering means. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be, you know, an astronomer, for example, or, or something that, you know, your parents may think that you're going to just be a university lecturer and they may think, well, that's not very good. You know, I think it's great because that's what I do. But um, they, they might think, you know, you don't get much money doing that. It? So, so I think uh, the, the key thing for parents is to understand, firstly, that you don't have to be a genius. So, so, so virtually anybody who's interested can be a scientist or engineer. And secondly, the, the opportunities are just vast. Right? So it's no longer the case that this traditional thing that you might want your kid to be, you have to be a lawyer or a doctor and nothing else matters, or an accountant or something like that. You know, and actually to see the breadth of careers that you can do and be successful is, is important because you've had, that, that, you know, they're a big influence on kid, Parents are obviously a big influence in what kids choose to do. Judging the, 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 the young scientists and engineers, you know, the, we, we got the five, the panel got the five best, and they were overwhelmingly brilliant. I mean, the science was beyond question. It had already been judged in a sense, so we had the five brilliant scientists and engineers of the future sat there. Um, but also part of the judging panel's remit was to find ambassadors for science. You know, so we had to look at how, we had to ask some difficult questions, like, you know, if you could go up to the prime minister and say something to him, what, what would you say? And he would give it one minute, you know. Then we were getting answers about, like, you know, science and engineering, the future of our country, you know, we want to make a difference to the world, and, and you should help us do that. You know, really informed, passionate views about science and why it's important. So that, I suppose, it was the thing that took me by surprise, but pleasantly. I was pleasantly surprised about that. I knew that we'd get great scientists and engineers, but I didn't know that we'd get such uh, powerful advocates for science and engineering. I would say that science and engineering are, the, in my view, the most exciting things you can do, and the, the things that you could do that would, will open up the world to you. I mean, once you've got a degree in science or engineering, you can literally do anything. And you might, if you're lucky, go and get a Nobel Prize and change the future of civilization, right? So that, that's how important science and engineering are.